Hello, Sweet Tooth and Flutter Pyrox is here playing more of something. Stolen Turnabout. Look at me! Hmm. Oh, always look at you, thank you. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, you didn't turn my screen full. Oh. Alright, one second. <laughs> One second is one drip of the coffee cup. Let's hurry it up. Shh! Silence! <laughs> <laughs> now I see. It's all becoming clear. Well, what's clear? Svari! The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me. What we have here is a judge in a prosecutor. Coffee maniac, Pat. Am I correct? Well, yes, that's right. Ha! Huh, not bad. Not bad at all. Isn't that what you'd expect him for? <laughs> yeah. You're the first person that's ever been able to penetrate my secret veil. <laughs> well, sir prosecutor, let me introduce myself. My name is Look At Me. Is detective and rising star illuminating the heavens. How the fuck is that magnifying glass being held to his eye? I don't know. Boy, these two make a perfect pair. They'd either be best friends or they'd tear each other's heads off. I've heard that on the night of the crime, you were all alone on security detail. Detail, I mean. Detail. You have heard correctly. My specially made monocle is worth more than a hundred, Detective Gumshoe. If Detective Gumshoe was worth anything, that is. Wow. Hmm. Why was this guy all by himself anyway? There must be some reason. I'm sure of it. Well then, tell us what this special monocle of yours witnessed. It was approximately one o'clock in the morning, just after the date changed. That's when my nemesis, the infamous Master Mask, dancingly descended upon me. He was dancing? Dancing. <laughs> just as I began to turn, the coward struck a fierce blow upon my noble head. Darkness swallowed me before I could land a single strike. When I awoke, he was gone. Thirty minutes later, I used an emergency phone to notify the police. So you didn't get a clear look at the criminal? My specially made monocle never misses a thing. <laughs> However, that is limited to things that fall within my own visual range. So you didn't. But of course, that's only natural. Uh, I fail to see why the witness seemed so proud of his performance that evening. Well, sir, low timer, let me explain. We are not speaking of any ordinary thief. But of the king of thieves, the great mask the mask, my arch enemy. That is what my instincts and my years of experience tell me. Hmm, very well. Proceed with the cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Oh, man. Hold it. So that would be 1 o'clock on the morning of the 12th, correct? That's an impressive detective. Deduction, so lawyer. You were on security duty that night. Where exactly were you at the time? A penetrating question. I was in the basement warehouse near the computer. Near the computer, huh? So then you weren't trying to remain hidden, I take it? Up to this point, I have tried to remain concealed while waiting for the thief. 
Yeah, he said the same thing yesterday, too. Coach also said that they never spotted the thief at the crime scene before. Precisely. And that is precisely why I chose not to hide last night. I knew that by not concealing myself, I would be putting pressure on the thief. Looks like the thief was on the one, the one plan of pressure. On your pigeon -y head, that is. In any case... That's when my nemesis, the infamous Smash the Mouse. Dancingly descended from where exactly? Well... From the entrance, I suppose. Where else? So in actuality, you neither danced nor descended. Someone please save me. Um, so how is it that you didn't notice the thief? My eyes were looking for the thief's shadow, while my ears listened for its footfalls. But even so, the dastardly criminal managed to sneak up on me. It can only be due to his subtly camouflage cape and soft-soled shoes. Here by W.A. Stunts. You didn't see the criminal's face when that happened. Well, that's the difficult part. How should I put it? I saw his mask. That's all I can recall. Hmm, that's not very solid as far as testimony goes. However, fortunately I had my third monocle, the security camera at the ready. It captured his image perfectly. This should be sufficient, I believe. Actually, that seems like the worst evidence possible, because after you become famous, there's going to be a lot of people trying to pretend to be you. So in other words, that could be anyone. Yeah. Hmm, well, as long as this photo is authentic, I don't see a problem here. Well, Mr. Godot, do you have a problem with the photo? Good, then let's continue with the testimony. Attacked and knocked unconscious, and you weren't able to do a thing? That's certainly some very impressive detective work. <laughs> well, sir, lawyer, have you ever been suddenly struck on the head? Huh? Well, well, actually, yes, by a fire extinguisher. And what happened? I was knocked out. And you lost your memory, too. You see, you have no right to look down on me, then, do you? The only reason I didn't lose my memory was because I have more brains to begin with. Wow. May have brains, but the wiring to the self-reflection part seems to be a severed. In any case, that was how I was knocked senseless, and then... Okay. 30 minutes later, I used an emergency phone to notify the police. About 30 minutes. My silver cord was loosened and my soul fled to the golden halls of Elysium. Okay. As usual, I have no idea what this guy's saying. I think he's saying that he was out cold. So, what happened during these 30 minutes? No one can say, Your Honor. That span of time has truly vanished into the other. Just what is he going on about? Suspicious about detective at me. How could he not have noticed when the thief came in? Also, he says he was knocked unconscious before he could fight back. But that can't be right, it contradicts the evidence. Huh? Which piece? The real question is, why would he tell such an obvious lie? So what can I get him on? I don't know, let's look at the crime scene again. What was there? 
Yeah, the button. The button's not there. Like, why would his button be off? Don't this thing. It was torn off. Oh yeah, why was it torn off? Mr. At me. Could you take a look at this with that special monocle of yours? Aha! This belongs to the criminal mastermind, my arch nemesis, Master Mask. It is, in point of fact, Master Mask's brooch. It was found on the floor of the basement warehouse. I wonder how that happened. Ha! Huh. Elementary, my dear lawyer. Obviously, it wasn't glued on well enough. It was tacked on. Not quite. Clearly shows sign of having been ripped off of a piece of clothing. Ripped off? Aha! We can only deduce that the thief struggled with someone that night. That's the only thing I can think of. And there's only one person that was in a position to have a struggle with the thief. The only person that was on security duty that night. You, Detective at me. Ah! Detective at me, you must have fought with the thief that night. So why did you lie in your testimony to the court? Witness, giving false testimony is a serious crime. Er, I... No! W wait a second, just just a moment, sir, old timer. Don't talk to me like I'm living in a nursing home. <laughs> I just remembered, Your Honor. I was just confused because I have been dealing with many cases lately. The true measure of a man is in the amount of work he does. That's what I always say. Nick, if you can only handle one case at a time, isn't that right? You talk too much. <laughs> Witness, so you are you now saying that you and the thief fought? Hold on. That's quite enough, Your Honor. Uh, excuse me? Save the big questions for the testimony. That's one of my rules. Indeed, I understand. I look at me agree completely. Can I go into it again? Indeed, it's true that I looked away from the door for a brief moment. However, look at me cannot be so easily discombobulated. Unfortunately, the thief grabbed the weapon from the side and rendered me you senseless. A true gentleman fights only with his own fists, but they were not enough. His first blow struck true. Bam! And that's all she wrote. So in the end, you did catch a glimpse of Master Mask? Correct. It was during his third crime that he struck me from behind. It seems that my memory has become a tad jumbled, so to speak. Hmm, well that's certainly understandable. I myself always get confused about which testimony goes with which case. Okay. That can't be good. So why did you look away from the door anyway? In addition to the camera, I had provided of a variety of other senses, senses as well. Yeah, sensors. The alarm on one of those had gone off, so I had to check the data. That's why I went to the computer. Elegantly, of course. So you were momentarily invulnerable when you were working on the computer? What should I do? Should I ask him more, some more questions? Should I? The sensor or the computer or that's enough. Sensor? What kind of sensors are you talking about? There are some other places in the basement that someone could enter and exit from. There are air conditioner ducts and sewer pipes and a cat door as well. I hooked up the heat detecting infrared and ultraviolet sensors to each of them. That's a lot of hardware. Was it all yours? 
Lord Retailer Department Store was kind enough to provide the monitoring hardware. Naturally, the security camera that took the photo belongs to them as well. In other words, they couldn't have rigged the equipment, huh? <laughs> Has that cleared up any doubts you had about me, Sir Lawyer? Um, what does that mean, discombobulated? Hmm, young people these days, they really irritate me. <laughs> okay, Judge. Darn these millennials. They allow perfectly good old words to die until everyone forgets what they mean. Sorry, but what exactly does it mean anyway? Now I've forgotten. What was I saying? Jesus, better than old people who forget what they were saying five seconds ago. Well, it looks like we have cleared that up. You can go on with your testimony. What do you mean by weapon from the side? Naturally, that thief had no idea that I, look at me, was hiding in the area. He grabbed the sword from the statue that was standing by the door to the White House. Sword? You mean a sword that was all twisted like a tree branch? Correct. Unfortunately for me, the blade was not sharp. Okay, so he is talking about the... Shichi Shicho. So the thief armed himself with a sword. What about yourself, witness? Hmm. You had that much faith in your own fighting abilities. But of course, in college I was the second in charge of the boxing club. I'm sorry if I fail to find that appropriately impressive. However, my opponent in the ring this time was my arch nemesis, Master Mask. That is a real piece of work. Can you tell us a little more about what happened? My opponent was both powerful and vicious. You might say he was powerish. Powerishous. Powerishous. I assumed the Atomy fighting stance was a sudden light. Flash of light blinded me. That, of course, was a checkmate. My opponent had bested me. What do I do now? Should I ask? Should I ask more about this? Oh, I can ask something here, too. You were blinded? At me fighting style. Blinded? So, what was this flash of light that blinded you? I was bathed in a golden light that seemed to come from the statue of the woman. Statue of Ami Fei, I'm guessing. Well, that wasn't very much help at all. Well, what do you think, man? Well, there's one thing that I'm absolutely sure of now. Yeah? What is it? Just look at me, guy. He's definitely hiding something. I think I'm starting to figure out what really happened that night. And about the true nature of this detective. Alright, so I gotta figure out what I gotta do with him. I mean, I could go press on those other things, can't I? ask about the computer. So did that computer belong to Lordly Taylor as well? Correct. Well, except for the program that manages the data. That was specifically designed by me. Look at me. In that case, he could have easily manipulated the data. Laughing.
Let's ask about the fighting style. What is this at me fighting style? I'm sorry, but that's a trade secret. I really can't say anymore. But, I suppose I can tell you it if I absolutely must. The main thing is to put your back to the wall. That way no one can get behind you. That's it? That's the at me fighting style? Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, what about that testimony? I guess so. Of course it's important. We've learned a detective secret technique after all. Yes, indeed. I'll remember to use it if I ever walk... Oh, <laughs> I take a walk alone at night and night. Why the heck is he eyeballing me like that? It's creeping me out. Now then, witness. <laughs> we'll go ahead and add that secret testimony to your official testimony. Good. I put my back to the wall to fight, but the thief's blow landed upon my third eye. Third eye? Yeah, unless he, like, means an eye in the back of your head. Where is this third eye you're talking about? Oh, it's right between my right and left eyebrows. It's quite invisible to the unenlightened. You may call it a forehead, if you like. Why didn't you just say that in the first place? So, lawyer, it looks like the creases in your own forehead are getting deeper. That's what he says. I got a funny feeling about that. Actually, so do I. Well, what do you think, man? Well, there's one thing that I'm absolutely sure of now. Yeah? What is it? He's hiding something. Like that. Why? Gonna go back into it. So that's what, probably what I gotta get him on, huh? Yeah, it clearly says with blow to the back of the head. Yep, that's it. Objection. Detective at me, your testimony is crumbling like a house of cards. What the fun is this, sir, lawyer? It is truly a pleasure to cross swords with you. And now, once again, you have thrown down the gauntlet at my armored feet. I believe this is what you said yesterday. On the head from behind. From behind, huh? But just now you testified that he struck you on the forehead. I hardly think you could forget where you were hit on the head. Ah, it seems I've made another mistake. Detective at me, that's not the only strange part about your testimony. What do you mean by that? For example... The very fact that you hid the calling card from the place itself is strange. It's almost as if you were afraid they were going to help with security. Geniuses such as myself have always been misunderstood. How sad. That's wrong. To err is human. To forgive is divine. Humans aren't machines. They have souls feelings. They live, they die, they love, they hate. And yes, they even make mistakes. Hey, hold on. 
it's not as pretty as that. Really? What is it like then? Always chase a riddle down to the end. That's one of my rules. This is it. This might just be my chance to turn things around. Mr. Wright, what exactly is that you're asserting? Uh oh. Very well, Your Honor. The defense asserts that... Mr. Atme is Master Mask. <laughs> the answer is simple. It's all clear to me now. Detective Look at Me's true identity is actually Mask to Mask. Yeah. Order. Order in the court. Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? There are too many unnatural parts to Mr. Atme's story. He says he was hiding at the crime scenes, which is why no one ever saw him there. And then in his last case, he manages to outperform Detective Gumshoe and the entire police force to miraculously retrieve the stolen treasure. But that's because... I analyzed the crime scene they thought of and made an exquisitely elegant deduction. I picked up clues that the police overlooked in order to arrive at the... Oh please, the explanation is far simpler than that, Detective Atme. The truth is that you are, in fact, Mask to Mask. Huh. But Mr. Wright, this photo clearly shows Mask to Mask. The security camera belongs to Lordly Taylor Department Store. He shouldn't have been able to manipulate it. He didn't need to manipulate it. He gained access to the warehouse under the pretense of providing security. Then he simply dressed up as a thief and stole the urn. So the ace detective is actually an ace thief? Is this true, witness? <laughs> the Masco Memo is pure genius. And so am I, look at me, ace detective. You're very clever to have come to a conclusion, such a conclusion. I am impressed, sir, lawyer. What? Witness, y you are admitting it? <laughs> hey, now's your chance. Yeah, it's time to put the last nail in this guy's coffin. Detective at me, when you assume the... Ow. Godot Blinn, number 102. My personal favorite. Then why'd you throw it at someone? Mr. Godot! The ace detective is actually an ace thief. I smell a best-selling novel. There's only one problem. It simply isn't true. But Mr. Godot, Mr. Wright has made very strong points and I... I will admit my opponent has woven a compelling narrative out of whole cloth. But it is, in fact, nothing more than a patchwork quilt, Mr. Trite. If this detective really is the thief, then show us the proof of your claim. But it had better be as hot and as perfect as the coffee dripping down your face. What the heck? Well, Mr. Wright, don't just stand there. This court would like to see this decisive proof you have, quickly. Huh? Oh, yes, of course. Wouldn't that be considered assault? The Godot just assaulted you? Yeah, you just attacked the defense attorney. What's called in coffee? Are you alright, Nick? I'm the only one that shows actual concern. <laughs> At me looks pretty rattled now. I'd like to finish this right now if I can. Can I really do it? The decisive evidence that proves Mr. Look at me is in fact mask to mask. Should I say? Not that I know of, right? 
I don't think I do. Proof? Of course, I, I've got nothing. Ha! Huh, just what I thought. A man has to hold his head up high no matter how bad things get, after all. I see. So you come to your senses, have you, sir lawyer? Can't think of a counterattack at all. Seems the cloud of suspicion surrounding this witness has lifted. Mr. Godot, if you have anything further to add, then... What, who? Who are you? That doesn't really matter right now, does it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Mr. Light, what are you doing here? Nikki boy. Thing you've been looking for. I think I found it. You mean that bag? No, not the bag. What's in the bag? Well, Th that's the sacred urn. Nick, it's the urn. Order, order, order. You, madam. That urn, where did you find it? Oh, Dizzy, you're the best. Well, how do you explain that one, Mr. At Me? Even you are going to have a hard time weaseling out of this one. Objection. Can't you just say that she's the wife of the supposed thief? Yeah. Pathetic. Mr. Godot, do you have something you wish to say? Yes, your honor, it simply amazes me how quickly times change. In the old days, a man was to be taken at his word. It's truly sad. You're still denying that Mr. Atme was involved? Before casting asper aspersions at Detective Atme, consider the young lady here. Your name is Desiree, Desiree Delight, is that correct? Yes, what about it? Ah. How charming. The lengths that a woman is willing to go to save her husband is truly inspiring. What are you insinuating? As the wife of the criminal, you could have discovered that stolen urn anywhere. Including the office of the good detective here. So you found the urn. What does that prove? Certainly doesn't prove where the urn was before you found it. What? I just brought it here from the detective's office. Please, madam. This town is already filled to the brim with lies. Any more could only compound the tragedy we have been witness to. Miss Delight. Please, Nikki boy. You gotta help me talk some sense into these people. There must be some way. Gotta prove that Urn was actually in the Atme Detective Agency. Hmm. I don't really think I can say show fingerprints because he wears gloves, doesn't he? Yeah, I think Atme wears gloves all the time. I don't think he does. Does he? I'm pretty sure he does. If he was the one doing mask and mask, then he would be in the mask and mask costume. Even if it doesn't, he'd wear gloves. So check that one. Check 
Okay. Yeah. Testify about what I saw. He probably wouldn't believe you. Mm, let's go for it. What's wrong? Isn't it your job to come up with something to say? Nick, come on, it should be easy to prove. After all, we checked out that bag, didn't we? You're right, I remember doing that. Whatever was in there, it was hard and round and smooth, too. Yes, it must have been the urn. It must have. But I never actually saw it with my own eyes. Atme walked in just when I was about to have a look at it. So even if it was the urn in there, I can't testify that it was. You're right. Huh. Looks like I was wrong about you, Mr. Trike. In this town, overflowing with lies, there's still a single flickering candle of truth. Mickey boy. Well, it's true that I never actually saw the urn. Oh, but Phoenix's fingerprints would be, be on it. Yeah, fingerprints. Because it's Phoenix's pr prints when he put his hand in the bag. I can prove where the urn was. By the fingerprints on it. Fingerprints, eh? Oh, come now. Who yeah, does wear gloves? Now you're really making me laugh, sir, lawyer. Fingerprints indeed. May I go on? Good. Now, it would be perfectly understandable if my, if my fingerprints were on the urn. After all, it was I who was guarding the urn in the first place. In any case, I am always in the habit of wearing gloves, as you can see. So unfortunately, my fingerprints wouldn't be evidence of anything. What about it, Mr. Wright? This witness's fingerprints would mean nothing anyway. Nick, what are you going to do now? Come too far to turn back now. That me must have brought the urn back to his office yesterday. And there I'm sure someone must have left their fingerprints on it. The defense proposes that the fingerprints of this uh, person should be on the urn. Me. Yeah, so what is all this fuss about fingerprints anyway? Mr. Atme, do you recall the events of yesterday? Hey, Nick. It's true that I didn't get a chance to look in the bag at that time, but, and this is a big but, I did touch what was inside. What? what? You, you touched it? And I remember it very well. It was smooth and hard. But, well, uh, th that was just... Your Honor, I'd like the court to examine the fingerprints on that urn. If my fingerprints are on there... Then it proves that the urn was in Detective Atme's office. Objection. Well, even your fingerprints, are, even if your fingerprints are on the urn, it still doesn't prove when they were put there, does it? Of course it does. But what did it? What did you say? It's not what I say. It's but what Adrian Andrews, the person in charge of the ex exhibition, said. Polished it until it was just about glowing. If she polished it that much, she must have removed any and all fingerprints on it. And the only chance I had to get my fingerprints on it after that was yesterday at the Atme Detective Agency. Ha! Huh. This blend, Godot blend number 107. 
I've decided. It's a little too bitter after all. Order, order, order. I accept the defense's request. Bailiff, take this urn and... Wait! Wait a moment, your honor! There's no need for that. N no need, you say? Precisely. I already know Mr. Wright's fingerprints are on the urn. What are you saying? Yes, I've finally broken him down. What the heck? Take a good look, everyone! <laughs> Unable to find a rival worthy of my genius, I was forced to create one my by myself! Here I am, the tragic clown! You see, it was me all along. I am the one and only Master Mask. Haha! <laughs> I hope you've all enjoyed my little performance. What the heck? Well, he admitted it. Okay. Well, Mr. Godot, what's Mr. Atme's condition? He's still in the lobby, laughing insanely, your honor. <laughs> I wish I could enjoy the joke as much as he seems to be. Well, it looks like the matter has been settled. I came perilously close to besmirching the record of an innocent young man. Besmirching him with the title of thief. Nick, you were right after all. Yeah, I guess Mr. Delight really wasn't the thief. The court finds the defendant, Mr. Ron Delight. Oh my god, here we go again. You're wrong! Wrong, I tell you. Or, I, I mean, not exactly wrong so much, but exactly not right is what is I was no, really trying to say. Is there no murder for this one? That's weird. I don't know. <laughs> they said someone died. That's weird. Hmm. Oh no, he's not. This can't be happening. He still wants to get arrested. The thief! The sneaky, odious thief who's been stealing all the treasures! It's me! It's him! I, I, I'm the one you want! I'm the thief, I tell you! So do it! Pronounce me guilty, please! I don't know what kind of kangaroo court you all think this is, but... <laughs> the true identity of the thief has already been proven. Please hurry and pass judge. What are you talking about? I already confessed. I'm the thief, I tell you. Mr. Godot, don't just stand there drinking coffee. Ha! Huh. Hey there, Mr. Thief. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Your person still wants me to declare guilty. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, sir. If you're really a man, then clean up your own mess. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I just don't have any idea what you mean. If you are a master mask, then prove it. That's what it means. Yes, sir. I'll be happy to. <laughs> This will be happy too. <laughs> Stop it. Stop. It's kind of cute. He's 100% committed to his fantasy. Good boy. Just remember one thing. A boy only gets one chance in his life to become a man. I know that. I won't fail. I swear. <laughs> oh my god. Okay then. Talk. We're all listening. Oh well. Let's all have a listen to this confession. Oh my god. Yeah, your own client's not testifying against himself. The truth is, I've been masked and mask all along. I mean, you can't prove that I'm not actually masked and mask, can you? I don't have an alibi for the night the urn was stolen, after all. I donned my costume that night and dancingly descended upon the scene of the crime. Look! You can see right there in the photo, that's me. 
As for my brooch, I snagged it on the door handle and it got tore off. That's all. Hmm. I don't like the direction this trial is taken. This is how every trial goes, at least with me, anyway. <laughs> oh. You're doing great. <laughs> oh my god. He now has the client doing his job. Hee <laughs> hee stop it, Mr. Goodell. You're embarrassing me. Like I said, you're only going to get one chance to testify, alright? But if you make it through this with flying colors, I'll keep my promise too. I'll make sure you stay locked up in prison as the one and only true mask to mask. Thanks so much, Mr. Goodell. I'll do my best. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, Mr. Wright, I'm afraid it's time for the cross-examination. <sighs> what the hell is happening? They're fighting over who's the thief. Oh, so there's the thing. <laughs> you may think you're the real master mask, but your wife thinks you're delusional. I haven't told Desi yet. About my true identity, I mean. Believe me, I've got my reasons. What's wrong? Uh, even if you get a not guilty, there's another investigation. What? It continues. Dang. Dang it. <laughs> I didn't think it would. With the way your room is decked out, how could she not know about it? Hmm, even thieves have complicated family situations, I suppose. What should I do? Is what we're like talking about. No. Should I press harder? Do you want to? I don't know. Ron's acting weird. Alright, let's press harder, I guess. So, why are you withholding the truth from your wife? Well, first of all, I, I don't think she'd believe me anyway. And second. If there's one thing that Desi absolutely detests, it's criminals! If that's the case, then why did you ever start thieving to begin with? Well, Desi is crazy about shopping. She's a really shopaholic. She's a real. But she's the love of my life, Your Honor. I guess you could say I'm a desi alcoholic. <laughs> hmm. So you do have a complicated family situation after all. Alright, that's enough. Please continue your testimony, I beg of you. Uh, I thought you were going to be the one to show us the proof. You know that you're the real masked mask and not just some kind of obsessed fanboy. Hey now, that's not fair! Why do I all have to do all the work anyway? Maybe because you're the one making the outrageous claim for a change. Come on, Nick. You know that Mr. Delight couldn't have committed the crime. You're the one with the fancy law degree. It's time to put it to work already. I need some kind of proof that Ron couldn't possibly be last mess. Well, I guess if you had that kind of proof, we wouldn't still be here, would we? For the time being, maybe I need to shift strategy. To try to show that Mr. Delight couldn't have stolen the urn. Oh yeah, don't we have something that would show that he needed to be somewhere else at that time? Oh, uh, the card thing? Yeah. Right. Anyway, I... Yeah. Alright, we're gonna have to try to put it into these shenanigans. Mr. Delight, this wallet belongs to you, correct? Ah, y yes, it does. I had lost it somewhere. Mr. Wright, when do you find a wallet, you should report it to the police right away. Ah, no, you don't understand. This this is an important piece of evidence. Evidence? Mr. Delight, when did you first notice that you lost your wallet? Uh, let's see, I think it was on the night of the crime. 
But I, I know I still had it when Desi and I went out for dinner. This wallet was found at approximately 1 a.m. at KB Security Headquarters. What? Surely you're not serious. Yes, I am serious. This proves that Mr. Delight was in fact at KB Security that night. No! So if the defendant was at KB Security at 1 o'clock in the morning, then that proves that he has a watertight alibi. No! Furthermore, considering the distance between Lord Lee Taylor and KB Security, it would have taken 30 minutes to get there by car, according to Larry, anyway. Well, Mr. Goodough, do you have anything to say? Hey, stop drinking that coffee. Come on, Mr. Thief. Don't let this guy beat you. Tell him why he's wrong. You're the only one who calls me Thief, Mr. Goodough. Alright, I'll try. I'll do it. I will. He's really got Mr. Delight all worked up. Yeah, he's like a kid at his first day of school. Look, it's just ridiculous. Why would I have dropped my wallet at KB Security? Someone must have planted it there to make it look like I was there and not at the heist. What? <laughs> planted it there? He's really reaching out. <laughs> someone planted it there to make it look like you weren't doing criminal activity. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Delight. You probably dropped your wallet when you did, took it out to use this, didn't you? Key card to KB Security CEO's office. No! Huh. That was a pretty good try, Mr. Trite. Unfortunately, you've overlooked one small thing. What? Motive, of course. Why would this thief go to KB Security in the middle of the night anyway? Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, it looks like you need some more evidence after all. Girl, this stupid kid. Now then, let's see your evidence. The evidence that shows why Mr. Delight went to KB Security at 1 a.m. that night. Well, of course, it's a blackmail letter. Mr. Delight, I believe you've seen this before, correct? Ah! That's... What is it? A blackmail letter. That's what it looks like from the contents. B blackmail Yes, basically it says bring $50,000. Hmm. It certainly sounds like blackmail, alright. At the time of the theft, Mr. Delay was dealing with the blackmailer himself. In KB Securities CEO office a full or hour from the scene of the crime. Seemed to upset Mr. Godot. Order, order, order. So when the theft of the urn occurred, the defendant was at KB Security. And it looks like a perfect case for the defense. You may see it as a perfect case, Judge, but to me... Well, let's just say that my Godot blend number 107 impresses me a lot more. What are you trying to say? You say the thief was being blackmailed by the CEO of a security company? But did you actually investigate this CEO at all? Huh? Well, um, no, I guess not. Accusing a man of blackmail with no proof. I'm not sure what I think of that. Not sure what I think of that. At least I know what I think of you. Hmm, good point. Not sure what I think of my, myself. You claim that the defendant entered the CEO's office. But you will need at least one witness to corroborate your claim, Mr. Wright. Dang it. <clears throat> Nick, I think we're gonna have to track down the CEO guy. No, we don't have to track down the CEO at all. 
What do you mean by that, Mr. Trike? There is someone else who can testify. Am I trying to say... Larry? Who is this useless looking? <laughs> oh! oh God, wow. You don't remember him, Your Honor? Hmm, not exactly. But just looking at his picture makes the bile rise, start to rise in my throat. <laughs> Jesus! Wow. It looks like he doesn't remember the case from two years ago. He probably blocked out that memory on purpose. <laughs> Anyway, this man was working as a guard at KB Security that night. Oh? The question at hand is this key card. Yep. Okay. Hmm. As you can see, there's no need to investigate the CEO of KB Security. We should be able to discover the truth simply by analyzing this keycard's data. Spit his coffee. Well, Mr. Godot? The name of the CEO of KB Security is Kane Bollard. I was unable to contact him directly, but I got the keycard data here. So what does it show? Each keycard has its own serial number and they leave detailed records of their use. According to this data, this card was used at 1 a.m. on the morning of the crime. Hmm. But that means it can't be Mr. Delight dressed as Master Mask in this photo. Ha! Huh. It looks like you're right. Two minutes isn't even enough time to brew a good cup of joe. So, so then. Ron Delight was clearly in the office of KB Security CEO at the time of the crime. The prosecutor's office is ready to admit that fact. Therefore, it's impossible for the defendant to be Master Mask. <clears throat> Good job, you did it, Nick. That's enough. I came perilously close to besmirching the record of an innocent young man. Besmirching him with the title of thief. What's wrong, Your Honor? I'm ready to pass judgment before I do that. Do you have any further objections? No, Your Honor. Hmm. Ah. Very well. The court finds the defendant, Mr. Ron Delight, not guilty. Good job. Yay. Court is now adjourned. I really want it to be accused of a thief. Dang it, Ron. Nick, you did it. You were right after all. Actually, I'm a little bit ashamed of myself. Nicky boy. Ah, oh, Mr. Light. I knew you could do it. I believed in you all along, Nicky boy. I don't know how I can ever repay you. Ah, shucks. Thanks, Miss Delight. I just know I'm blushing. Congratulations, Mr. Nick. Oh, pearls. Had a bad feeling about this. <gasps> Who's this woman? Oh, no. Oh, she, she's nobody. She just, uh... You're blushing. How dare you do this in front of Mystic Maya? You should be ashamed of yourself. Ah. You just get slapped by a little girl. Early, come on. She slapped me. Um, Curly? This one is Miss Desiree 
my delight. She's our client's wife. Mr. Nick? Yes? You're even worse than I thought. Going behind the back of your own client. N no, you got it all wrong. I'll never forgive you. Oh my god. Ow! Sure. Right, why don't we even let Maya stay with us? We got the sacred arm back and the thief has been caught. You're so right. It's all thanks to Nicky Boy here. It actually was you, Miss Delight, that brought us our arm back. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Oh, please. You're embarrassing me. If we won the case... Why does this guy look still look so dumb? Uh, but I am the thief. Actually, what's the point now? What is it, honey? I did my best for you, Ronnie. And I know that, and I appreciate it, Desi. But the thing is... Come on, give the kid some time. He's just got a little touch out of the blues. You know about feeling blue, right, amigo? Mr. Godot, what are you doing here? Oh, come on. I just came here to say thanks to my newest buddy. You, Mr. Trite. Maybe you should learn my name before you call me buddy. Well, playtime is over. Huh? Early this morning, the body of Kane Bullard was discovered. that name before? Isn't that the name of the CEO of KB Security? Wait, body? The estimated time of death was 1 a.m. on October 12th. 1 a.m. on October 12th? You don't mean... That's right, amigo. You just placed your person at KB Security at that exact time. Damn it! In his office. No. <laughs> at the same time that a cheap little urn was being stolen, the CEO of KB Security was being murdered. So then, what are you doing there? Oh, come on. You figured it out already, haven't you, amigo? Or have you already forgotten about that piece of info I helped you out with today? Helped me out with... Well. What? On October 12th at 1 o'clock in the morning, Ron Delight was in the CEO's office, the scene of the murder. After getting that blackmail letter, he must have been imbrued with utter rage. What are you saying? Imbrued with rage? Come on, don't tell me you didn't know. Ron Delight was once an employee of KB Security. He was a professional security guard. Cool. A hundred. Bing. It looks like the alibi that saved him from being convicted as a thief is going to be the noose that gets him hanged. Kind of an anti-alibi. No way. Can't be the thief. Because he was at the murder scene when the murder occurred. <laughs> no, that's a lie. It can't be true. Oh my god. Oh, oh, but I, I'm a thief, I tell you. Ron Delight, you're going back to prison again. <laughs> this time the charge is much more serious. This time you'll be tried for murder. <laughs> what? Brilliant. This can't. This is impossible. I'm looking forward to another exciting showdown, Mr. Trite. Mr. Trite is my best friend now. You and I aren't through with each other yet. Surely you won't back down from a challenge. You'll, you've never been such a coward, right? Mr. Nick, can you something personal between you two? I don't know. I've returned from the depths of hell to do battle with you. At least let me have some fun while I'm here. This guy, who the heck is he? 
may be quiet, but he's the most dangerous enemy I've ever faced. I pretty much just had you prove that your client was there and had a motive. <laughs> Dang. Well then, time to say goodbye to Mr. Delight. Right in front of our very eyes, our client has been arrested for murder. And the one who established his presence at the scene was me. <laughs> Ronnie! Arrested for murder on the very same day he's declared innocent of larceny. What the heck's going to happen next? Yay! Same! Yeah. Alright, want to thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. Hope you have yourself a good day. Bye bye.